What's up, y'all? Um, I'm heading over to the gym right now, about to get there. We're gonna do our second, like, um, heavy lifting, like, intense workout for the program that I'm doing. Um, we're gonna start off with sprints. So, with that being said, you need to, I, myself, need to warm up a lot so that I don't pull anything. So I'm gonna do a lot of warming up. I'm gonna get on the bike. Um, I'm gonna bike for a bit to warm up my legs because sprints are an intense exercise. So you need, to, you need to warm up because it's a really explosive exercise and like your muscles can tear really, really quickly if you don't stretch enough, if you don't, um, warm up enough you need to warm up enough so that you don't injure yourself and then you need to stretch after and you need to ice your legs you need to heat your legs after you ice them for the recovery um, it's very important that you do so to prevent injury because you don't want injury setting you back so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna run a couple laps and then I'm gonna bike a couple laps and then I'm gonna start the workout. The workout today doesn't involve a lot of weights. It involves a lot of explosive activity, like sprints. Um, um, there's weighted, there's weighted um, squat jumps. There's uh, lunge jumps and really explosive activity. So let's get to it. I just biked for five minutes and ran five laps, which is about five minutes. So now I'm gonna start stretching and doing dynamic stretching to get my muscles loose. All right guys, so if you don't know what dynamic stretching is, it's just stretching while moving practically. That's practically what it means. But um, usually when you stretch, you stay in one place and you just stretch and they're like they tell you not to bounce not to do anything but dynamic stretching you just move in a in a steady motion and you you um, extend your legs or your body part to to a point where your muscles are stretching but you don't hold it for a long time you just you just hit that point you come back and you do it again and you keep doing it steadily while um, under control so you don't in injure yourself so um, this is exactly what I'm doing to to warm up for my sprints because sprints are very intense on your body and you you do have to do these types of stretches to um, for them for the the best warm-up I guess because um, I feel that these help you the most in warming up and preventing injury for for um, explosive activity. So now we started um, sprinting. We're gonna start sprinting right now, and. Um, Man, these freaking killed me. <laughs> After the second one coming back, I was already dead. You're supposed to do four. Four, um, two and from. So that's two and from, that's one. Two and from, two. So I did two of those and I was already dying. As you can see right here coming up. I was just dead, man. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Just two and from four times. Okay, so these are just, um, they're just weighted squat jumps. Make sure your back is straight. Um, I think I picked a weight that was kind of too heavy. Actually, now that I look at it, it's not. Um, but when I was doing it, I felt like I was barely even getting off the ground. Which is kind of a good sign, because that means I'm jumping higher. But, but yeah, this is a great workout right here.
All right, so here we got medicine ball throws. You gotta um, simulate as if you were holding a basketball and you're gonna go up and dunk it. But when you jump, you release the ball. So when you're, when you're squatting and jumping, you have the weight on you, but when you're up in the air, you don't need the weight anymore. So you just release it to prevent any injuries. That's practically what it is. All right, so for the lunges, um, I wasn't sure if we were supposed to use weight or not, so I did, it's supposed to be four sets. So I did the first set with body weight, and then the next two with weight, and then the, the fourth one without weight. But man, I felt a huge bounce, a huge bounce when I dropped the weight, when I let go of the weight, and I did it without the weight the fourth time. That was a crazy feeling right there, but it felt it felt good. Trust me, y'all should try this one out. Now these are just standard, um, standard squat jumps, rim jumps. Um, a lot of people call them different things, but mainly just squat jumps and just. Again, explode as fast as you can. Try to touch as high as you can. My legs are burnt out, which is why I don't, I don't get off the ground very much. But that's what, that's what it's all about. You gotta burn your legs out and then jump as high as you can. Get it, guys. Holy poop! Oh, that workout kicked my butt, man. Oh, but I'm finally done. I'm gonna rush to open gym right now because I'm already late, half an hour late. But man, that was a good workout. Um, whew, I'm out of breath. But yeah, if y'all do this workout, you'll get some serious inches, man. Serious inches. For now, I'm just gonna put it out there, let y'all see it, and then maybe take a thing or two from it. I'm not gonna put the reps and everything because that might be copyrighted. So. Whew, man, um, for for the um, for the lunges, I didn't know if they were weighted or not, so I did two. I did one weighted set. It's out of four sets. I did one weighted set. No, I did one of uh, body weight, two weighted, like really heavy to where I barely even got off the ground, and then the last one was body weight, and then I like. I like bounced up there, man. <laughs> I was used to the weight, and holy crap, I just bounced, which was pretty freaking nice. Like, it was a good feeling. That workout was a killer, but if you wanna be an elite athlete, you gotta train like one. Yeah, man. So keep working hard, keep training hard, keep, uh, keep being explosive, just work hard, man. And I'll see y'all later.